Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on, let's bless the Lord, everybody. That's it. That's it. Let's bless the Lord. I will bless him at all times. How many know you got a praise that should continually be in your mouth? Then come on, clap your hands like you mean it. Let it out and let's bless the Lord. For the Lord is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody else need to give him some praise. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We ought to rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, clap your hands and shout loud. Hallelujah. You're not doing it for Chamberlain, but let God know that you appreciate him on this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to go and sing the song, our theme song. We're going to sing, sing it in its entirety. So sing with us, all right? Come on, clap your hands. Amen. Hallelujah. Hell, it's all in him. Help me. It's all in him. The fullness of the Godhead. It's all in him. Well, it's all in Oh, it's all in him. Yeah, the mighty God is Jesus. And it's all in him. First verse, the mighty God is Jesus, the Prince of Peace is He, the Everlasting Father, the King Eternally, the Wonderful in Wisdom, by whom all things were made, the fullness of the Godhead is Jesus. Help me say it's all, the Lord is all, the fullness
It's all in Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of our God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to have our praise team to come. Amen. And give us what thus saith the Lord through them. And then after them, the Margot Goggins Youth for Christ choir immediately after the praise team in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. If you have a testimony in your heart for all that God has done for you, we want you to praise him with us this morning. Amen.
many know that Jesus is the light of the world? Hallelujah. Jesus is the, I'm glad that he's the light of the world. All that is going on in the world today, in the Middle East, even in this country, it's good to know Jesus is the answer. I said it's good to know that Jesus is the answer. Have I got a witness? Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. It is good to know him in the name of the Lord. Amen. And we thank God for the selection from the praise team as well. Amen. I don't know about you, but I got a testimony. The Lord has been good to me. Hallelujah. I got one. Got a lot of them. Amen. We're going to prepare to go into our prayer. Amen. Right now. And there's so much to pray for, but we thank God for the victory in Jesus' name. I want someone to know, in case there's any doubt, that there's still power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's still healing. He's still making ways. He's still God. Amen. And he's still on the throne. Remember, amen, so much to remember. Just remember also our assistant pastor and, uh, and our pastor's assistant, Elder Lawrence. They're both absent, but they're fine. Amen. And planned absences today. So in case you're wondering because you don't see them, they're okay. But keep them in prayer because they're out of town. Amen. Amen. We're going to remember the family of Sister Ida Johnson, missionary Ida Johnson. Amen. A warrior and a worker for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Lorraine Jackson, another one. Amen. Of course, remember our pastor as he brings forth the word this morning. Amen. We thank God for him and the strength that God has given him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And everybody who has a request from God, raise your hand so the Lord can see, see it. He knows, amen, but we just want him to know that we're looking for him to do something in our life, amen. We're going to ask Elder Joseph Hill if he would come at this time, please, in prayer. And then after him will be Elder Robert Goldstein with the reading of our scripture in that order in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad. Lord, we just want to thank you for this day, oh God. Father, a brand new day that we haven't seen before, Lord. Father, we thank you for the opportunity this day, oh God. Just to call on your holy name one more time, oh God. Father, we thank you this day, oh God. Just to be back in the house of praise one more time, oh God. Father, we thank you today, oh God, for allowing us the opportunity to rise early this morning. Still got a desire, oh God, to walk up before you in the beauty of holiness, O oh God. Father, we pray this day, O oh God, that you would move throughout the service, O oh God. Father, we pray that you would touch somebody, O oh God. Move through your spirit today, O oh God. Move on their behalf this day, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, O oh God. Father, prepare our hearts this morning, O oh God, to receive your word, O oh God. Open up our understanding, O oh God, that we may apply it with our walk, O oh God. Let this be the day, God, that the healing will get a, a deliverance today, oh God. Let this be the day, oh God, that the sick will get a good report, oh God. Let this be the day, oh God, that somebody received the gift of the Holy Ghost, oh God. Let this be the day, oh God, that the backslider may come back, oh God. Let this be the day, oh God, that somebody come down and repent of their sins, oh God. Whatever the need is, oh God, let it be this day, oh God. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad, oh God. Father, we ask you to remember our pastor this morning, oh God, as he bring forth the word this morning, oh God. Keep your anointing on him, oh God. Move through these four walls, oh God. Let us feel your presence this day, oh God. Put your anointing on him, oh God, that we may receive that which you have for us, oh God. That we may apply it to our walk this day, oh God. Father, remember those this week, oh God, that lost their loved ones, oh God. Remember the Johnson family in a special way, oh God. Remember the Lyle family, oh God. And there are others, oh God, that have lost loved ones, oh God. But we know you were able to comfort, oh God. Even in this hour, oh God. Father, be with them, oh God, as they go through this process, oh God. Keep our minds stayed on you, oh God. Father, remember those that stand in need this morning, oh God. Those that have been crying out for you, oh God. Answer their prayer today, oh God. Bring somebody down to the altar, oh God. 
bring somebody to the waters of baptism. Let them have a change of heart today. Let this be the day, O oh God, that change takes place, O oh God. Move by your spirit, O oh God. And Father, we be mindful, O oh God, to give you the praise. We be mindful, O oh God, to give you the glory. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Isn't God good? Isn't God wonderful? Oh, yes, he is. Let us turn to the 15, uh, Psalms 15, 15, Psalm. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. And the word of God reads thus, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is condemned. But he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth to his own hurt and changeth not. He that putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Thank God for repeating of his precious, precious words. Amen. We thank the Lord for all that's been said and done up until this time. And now it, it affords me a great honor to present to, uh, to us our pastor, amen, a man on the wall, a man with the word for such a time as this. We want to thank the Lord for Bishop Charles E. Johnson. Let's thank God for our pastor. Come on, let's thank the Lord for him as he comes at this time. In Jesus' name, Bishop Johnson. Somebody ought to shout, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, God, God is good. Amen. At this time, we uh, want to uh, acknowledge our visitors. And if we have any visitors here today, we would like for them to stand so we can sing our welcome song to you. Any visitors, please stand at this time. Amen. God bless you. Glad to have you with us. Amen. Amen. Morning Star, let us stand as we sing our welcome song. stretched arms to greet you, extended hands pleased to meet you, our family welcomes you, if your voice is name. I'd like to know if if uh, Sister Dorothy Butler is in the house. Where, where is she? There she is standing up. This is her 96th birthday. The 
we're gonna sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to love. Happy birthday. May God bless you. Sister Butler is a graduate from Howard University. Uh, she was the editor of the newspaper there when she was there in college. Amen. The daughter of Bishop Butler. Amen. And we thank God for her. And looking good at 96, too. I'm telling you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And we thank the Lord. For her today at 5 p.m., the Usher Board will be celebrating their 76th anniversary. Amen. And and Sister uh, Minister Michelle Butler will deliver the word of God. And I'm asking everyone who uh, can uh, come back to support the ushers, the ushers uh, support everyone else. And yeah, they're here. And we're asking everyone uh, to come back. Now I know it's supposed to rain, but I assure you, you won't melt. <laughs> that was the Wicked Witch of the East, I think, that put some water on and she went down and melted. But I'm, uh, bring your umbrella, and come on back, we won't be here all day. Okay, amen, 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 amen. So please keep that in mind. At this time, it is offering time in the temple, offering time. And again, we uh, ask that you would give a liberal offering as giving unto the Lord, remembering that it is the liberal soul that shall be made fat. So at this time, we're going to turn you into the hands of our ushers and deacons, and our ushers will give us instructions at this time. Thank you, Bishop Johnson. Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord again, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Would everyone please stand, face your center aisle, and follow the instructions from the ushers in the rear, Please unfold your bills, and e-giving is to my left. Thank you.
ushers a hand. opportunity to give and so we certainly want to thank you as well for your liberal giving and you can expect a return from from the Lord now it is time we take as I always say our spiritual knives and forks and spoons amen and get ready to feast off of the word of God how many know we need a right now word a word from the Lord man cannot live by word, bread alone but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Almighty God. And so, of course, our pastor's going to come back. Amen. And the next thing that he's going to do is to speak before us what God would thus say of the Lord. But before he comes, uh, Mar Margot Goggins Youth Fellowship Choir is going to come with the last election. Let's thank the Lord for them as they come one more time. Then after them, our own pastor in that order.
applause. Amen. I was looking back there. James got a mustache now. Great. I know we get. We're climbing the ladder. That's all I can say. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for them. Amen. I was <laughs> thinking about uh, Brother Jade, and I was out there talking. Uh, this has been some years ago. James was just a little fella then, and he was just running. And so Jay told him, said, well, don't run over there. So he ran in a circle around us, just flying. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. When you're young like that, my, my, my grandson, he's got that same energy. But when you get to be my age, you run when you have to. It's got to be. Something got to be coming after you. Something got to be chasing me. Cause <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank the Lord again for his goodness. In the 103rd chapter of Psalms, is where I'll be found. The 103rd chapter of the book of Psalms. Again, we thank the Lord uh, for his goodness and thank God for all of our visitors again. We thank God for you. Psalm 103 Beginning at verse 1, let us read. Bless the Lord and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfy thy mouth with good things, so that a youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executed the righteousness and judgment for all the one more. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. You may be seated. Thank you, Jesus. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. And I like to use for a subject, the Lord is a miracle worker. Look at someone and tell them the Lord is a miracle worker. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! Somebody here ought to say, Lord, send me one. Lord, send up. Oh, Shama. Glory, send me one. Hallelujah! Glory, send me one. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody here can use a miracle right now? Glory. Send me. Send me one. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. This. Hallelujah. This 103rd Psalm. This, this is a song that 
that was penned by King David. And no doubt that when David, when he wrote this psalm, he was thinking about the mercy of God and how merciful the Lord had been to him. He, God, he is a merciful God. And David realized that God could have cut him off in his sin. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord had every right to cut him off in his sins. He had every right to cut us off. Could have cut us off in our sins. Thank you, Jesus. But instead, because of the Lord's love and, and the Lord's patience and his long suffering toward him, he realized that it was God that gave him another chance. And I want us to note that I didn't say a second chance. I said another chance because our second chances would have ran out a long time ago. But the Lord had given him another chance. David wanted to show his appreciation to God, to let the Lord know that how grateful he was because of the Lord's mercy. And he says to the Lord, he says to his own soul, bless the Lord. He said, oh, my soul. In other words, I don't want this to be lip service. I don't want this to be something that is superficial. But I'm calling on my soul, the very depths of my inward part. I want my heart. I want my heart, my mind, my soul wrapped up in this. I want to express to God just how thankful I am for how he's, he's been so good to me. I think when we, help me Jesus, I think when we come into the house of the Lord, I think we ought to bless the Lord. I think that's the thing we ought to do. Someone said, what do you mean by blessing? How can you bless him? That's when you praise him. That's when you worship him. That's when you speak well of him. And you don't mind telling somebody how good God's been to you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As I stand here today, I want the Lord to know how grateful I am. I'm grateful. 
Thank you, Jesus. I don't mind saying it openly. Oh, glory. I don't care who knows how I feel about him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. He's been, he's been good to me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want this. I want this to come from my soul. Thank you, Jesus. And then he said, and all that is within me. Everything in me. Bless his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. I, I think I think we're too close to his coming to be giving him lip service. Thank you, Jesus. This thing got to come from the heart. God, thank you, Jesus. And so he repeats himself. In verse 2, he said, bless. Bless the Lord. Oh, my. So, don't you forget where God brought you from. Don't you forget what he's done in your life. Don't you forget how he healed you and made ways for you. Don't you forget it. Don't you forget it. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He made it clear in this song that there are some benefits. When you're serving the Lord, tell somebody that you get your benefits. Glory. Hallelujah. I have to say I, I was in North Carolina and Stopped at a Cracker Barrel, sitting there, and fella saw my my hat, my veteran's hat, and he came over to my table and said, "Are you getting your benefits?" <laughs> I want to ask somebody who's serving the Lord. I want to ask you, are you getting your benefits? Thank you, Jesus. God, I want to say to the church that when you're serving the Lord, you're not like everybody else. Look at somebody and tell them I'm special. Anytime God take the time out to call you out of sin, when some of your friends died in their sins and have allowed you to live as long as you've been living, you better see yourself as being special to God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Give God some glory. Thank you, Jesus. Don't, let, don't you let the devil 
to let the devil cause you to think, amen, that you're just like everyone else. No, oh, I'm a child of the king. Thank you, Jesus. My God owns everything. And he can do anything he wants. Anytime he wants to do it. Hallelujah. Don't you forget your benefits in him. And I'm here, amen, to tell you the Lord is a healer. That's one of your benefits. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And, and, and he's a way maker, too. Anybody here ever had God make a way? And the thing about it, there don't have to be a way. He can make a way out of no way. Thank you, Jesus. It's one of the benefits. And I'm, I'm, I'm here and that the God that I'm serving is able to give you peace in your mind. I said he can give you, I don't care how chaotic things may be around you or, and how the enemy is trying to disturb everything around you. I'm saying to you that one of the benefits in Christ is to have peace of mind. You, I, I thank God for my peace. Praise God. I, I want you to know nothing takes the place of having some degree of peace. Praise God. Michael Jackson had all kind of money and didn't have any peace. Had to take pills to go to sleep. But I thank my God that the Lord have given me a peace down in my soul. Somebody shout hallelujah. Give God glory. Give him praise in the house. I don't need to take any pills to have peace and to go to sleep. Thank you, G. When I leave here and go home, and sit in that recliner. Praise God. Night, night. Thank you, Jesus. I ain't got to take no pills. Hallelujah. I've got peace of mind. The Lord have given me peace. That's one of the benefits. Thank you, Jesus. When you're serving the Lord. Forget not all of his benefits. And he said, he said, who forgiveth all thine iniquities. If you don't praise God for nothing else, you ought to thank God that he forgave you for all of your sins, all of your iniquities. Sins that could have sent you to hell. And the Lord forgave you for all. Somebody say all. All that iniquity. Thank you. Nothing takes the place of forgiveness in Christ. In God Almighty. When God has forgiven you. Knowing that he could have called up. A number of things that you did against him. He could call up a list and go down. You did this. You did that. 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 But because of your faith in Jesus. Because of your love for God. The Lord said I'm wiping your slate clean. I'm not only going to forgive you for what you've done. I'm going to forgive you what you did and what you might do in the future. Just call on my name. Said my blood washes clean. Somebody shout hallelujah. Give God some glory. Give him some praise in the house. Forgiveth all thine iniquities. Because I want, help me Jesus. I want to say that after 
God saved us. We still have done some things outside of the will of God. But I've got a God. I've got an advocate with God. Jesus Christ the righteous. And if I go to him and say, Lord, I'm sorry. And it comes from my heart. The God that I'm serving is able to forgive me and wipe the slate clean. It doesn't matter what, what somebody else say. My judgment is in God's hand and not in the hand of man. Somebody shout hallelujah. Forgive it. All thine iniquities. He didn't say some. Somebody say all. All. And then he said, who healeth all thy diseases. I said that the Lord is a healer. He's a healer. Somebody ought to say that. Say the Lord is a healer. You've got to say it. Till it get down in your spirit. Because we are facing things in our life. And the devil will make you think that there's nothing that can be done. Said even God himself can't get you out of this. Well I've come to say to somebody he's a liar. I said the devil is a liar and you got to remind yourself over and over and over he's lying to me. As long as I've got breath, as long as I'm still in the land of the living, I still got a hope. As long as I can call on the Lord, I've got a hope. Because the God that I'm serving is able to do it and bring me out. Somebody shout hallelujah. And that's why as a child of God, you cannot wait till God bring you out to praise him. You can't wait until God bring you out to bless him. You bless him now. Wait for the miracle later, but bless him right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometimes, amen, it'll look like, well, I don't know. I haven't seen anything. I, I, what am I blessing him? You're blessing him because he's God Almighty. Whether he bring you out or not, he's still God. I said he still deserve it. He's still keeping you. Aren't he keeping you? Somebody shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Heal it all. All thy diseases. No matter what it is, the Lord is able to heal. Thank you, Jesus. He's a miracle worker. And then it says... He said, who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Because some of us was on the highway of destruction, traveling at great speed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We were killing ourselves and didn't even know it. Thank you, Jesus. I know. Out there, praise God, doing what we want to do. Think, taking chances we shouldn't have taken. Putting ourselves in dangers we shouldn't have been in. Praise the Lord. And, and, and God Almighty was redeeming us. We weren't even serving God like we should. And the Lord was still watching over us. Praise him. And not only that, amen, just driving on the highway. 
Sometimes having things on our minds going through stop signs. Because you got something on your mind. Thank you, G. Didn't mean to do it, but you've been thinking about something and you just went through. Could have been a tractor trailer coming down the road. And the Lord watching over you, redeeming your life from destruction. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here to say, amen, that God have kept you and have kept me from more dangers we didn't see than the dangers we did see. Praise the Lord. There were some dangers in your life, amen, that you never saw it, but God stood in the gap. He wouldn't allow the devil to take you out because he had a call on your life. That's what you ought to praise him for. You ought to praise him for the dangers you didn't see. Hallelujah. My God. He redeems you. Your life from destruction. And then he crowneth thee with loving kindness. He put a crown on you, a crown of tender mercies. Thank you, Jesus. You may not be able to see it, but there's a crown on you. God have crowned you. That's why the enemy couldn't take you out. Praise God. God had a call on your life. Thank you, Jesus. The scripture says... Amen. He crowneth thee. Thank you, Jesus, with loving kindness. The Lord loves you. Tell somebody, God loves me. I don't care what you going through. I don't care what kind of situation you are in. But I've come to tell you the Lord loves you. Tell somebody, he loves you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's been merciful to you. And David, David said, Who satisfies thy mouth with good things? And I praise God. Help me, Holy Ghost. But I'm 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 going to receive some good stuff. I said, God's giving out good stuff. I want mine. Anybody want yours? I want, amen. Satisfy me with some good stuff, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Not because we deserve it, but because of his goodness. He satisfied thy mouth with good things. Amen. So that, he said, so that, Thy you is renewed like the eagles. Praise God. No matter how much pressure has been upon you, no matter what you have been through that looked like it was going to sap all your strength from you, I'm here to say that God showed up. He showed up at the right time. Some of us was about to give up. And then God showed up. And when he showed up, he put some strength in us. We was weak. We said we couldn't take any more. And then the Lord showed up and renewed our strength. I want to thank God for strength renewal. Because God renewed my strength. Tell somebody I'm still in the fight. The devil thought that I would have given up. But here I am. I'm still in the fight. After all these years, all the pressure, all the problems, all the disappointments, all the trouble, tribulations, I'm still in the fight. Still here. Still calling on the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Renew 
our strength like the eagles. You said it's the Lord who executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Praise God. Sometimes people think they got you. They think they think I got them now. Sometimes you have you have co-workers and praise God said I got you. You might have a supervisor, manager. Oh, I got you now. Praise God. Amen. Want to take advantage of you. But I'm here to tell you, thank you Jesus that God got the last say. Look at somebody and tell them God got the last. Said the Lord, the Lord said he executeth righteousness. He's going to do what he know is right. Amen. And he's going to bring justice to those of us who are waiting on him. And I want to say this, give it to, to the Lord. Don't you take that problem back with you. Amen. Give it to God and let God handle it. Somebody shout hallelujah. And then don't let folk get to your mind. Amen. Will you forget about praising God? Amen. It ain't that bad. The devil gonna make it look worse than what it is. Tell somebody, but it ain't that bad. Thank you, Jesus. And the God I'm serving in, in his due time. He's got a set time when he'll bring you out. And when he brings you out, he'll bring you out with a shout. And he's going to bring you out with a new testimony. Tell somebody, I got a testimony coming. And he said, he made known his ways unto Moses. He showed off. I want to say that our God is a show off. Somebody ought to say show off for me, Jesus. I said he's a show off. When the Egyptians had them there in Goshen, had them as slaves, treating them any kind of way. Thank you, Jesus. And they began to call on Jehovah. And the Lord raised up Moses. And gave Moses a rod. Told Pharaoh, let my people go. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened. And the Lord said, let me show off a little bit. Turn that water in the blood. The fish die, cause frogs to hop through the palace, brought in lice and flies. Thank you, Jesus. Said, I'm going to show off. And then when his heart hardened again, the Lord said, I got one more I want to do. Said, I'm going to bring death. To all the firstborn throughout Egypt. But he said, now Israel, I want you to get some blood. And I want you to put it on the side of the post. And upon the top of the post. He said, because when I, when I come through the land, when I take out all the firstborn, when I see the blood, he said, I'm going to pass over you. I'm glad that I've got the blood. 
Somebody say thank you for the blood, Jesus. Lord, he showed off. By the time he had finished, the Bible said they left out of there with blessings. Pharaoh and those Egyptians gave them gold and silver. Left out. Then all oh, Pharaoh's heart hardened again. Got him out there. He got all his chariots, all his soldiers together. Said, we're going to stop him out there and we're going to bring him back. Come on. God said, don't worry about him. Said, I'm going to blind him. Brought up cloud and caused it to come down. They couldn't find him. I'm here to tell you that if God don't want your enemy to find you, he ain't going to find you either. Somebody, he may be looking for you, but God got you here. The Lord know how, tell somebody, the Lord know how to hide you. Thank you, Jesus. They stumbling around out there in the desert trying to find them, and a cloud had come down, a fog where they couldn't see. Praise God. And the Lord led them by a pillar of fire. In the, and when the word of God said, when they got to that Red Sea, said, what are we going to do now? God said, look what's in your hand. Said, stretch it out. And when he stretched out that rod, the waters stopped. Went up on both sides and through the middle of that sea, dry land, and told Israel, march on. They marched through. Praise God. The chariots got there, said we can catch them now. God said, I'm going to show off again said, I'm the one that caused those waters to divide. And when I get ready, I'll bring them back together again. And when Pharaoh got out there, him and his army, the Lord said, all right, come on back like you were before. And the waters came back. I want to say Pharaoh got drowned in the sea one day. Tell somebody, your Pharaoh going to drown. He might be chasing you, might be talking big to you, but your Pharaoh, when God get finished with him, your Pharaoh's going to drown. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, send me. Send me a miracle. Somebody here need a miracle. Anyone here need a miracle? The Lord know you need one. Somebody say, send me a miracle. For those of you that are here and you're not saved, you need one. If you haven't repented of your sin, you have yet to be baptized in the name of Jesus. You need a miracle in your life. In order to see the Lord in peace, you must repent of your sins. You must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission or removal of your sins. You must be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God give utterance. So if you're not saved, we want you to come. Watch ye.
Therefore, you know not the day when my Lord shall call you so. If you labor, striving for the ride, you shall wear a golden crown. Someday, they'll wear in your body and you want prayer we want you to come right now in the name of Jesus why don't you get up out of your seat come down in faith believing that God is going to touch you right here right now in the name of Jesus someday I shall wear gold
gonna wear a crown. I shall wear a crown. Oh, when, when that trumpet sounds. Trumpet sounds. When that trumpet sounds. Someday. I Send it 
say you got to just keep saying it. Ooh, hallelujah to you. Get it on the inside. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm convinced that from the time that the praise scene said I got a testimony and Bishop preached the Lord as a miracle worker. 